Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jen. We're going to do a what I'm doing today video and Athena says hi. Um, where have I been? I will tell you on a minute, but first we're going to get started. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. I hope everybody had a great weekend and a good start to their week. I know it's in the middle of the week. It's Wednesday. Um, we had some things going on that could not... <laughs> <laughs> so she's wet baby she, <laughs> she's she's being a mess this morning um but we had some things going on that could not be avoided and i needed to deal with those so we're gonna get started all right so over the weekend i did do i did um i yeah which was the readathon and um book wise reading wise oh let's see i finished a book that i need to review which i'm gonna do that over the weekend because i am still listening to one that i another one that i need to review and um i didn't get much reading done at all this weekend um we had death in the family i guess that's what you want to call it um my um mom's and my my parents dog checkers um, originally it was my uh, sister's dog and they my mother and my father took the dog in it became their dog um, they had to put him down on Sunday apparently according to my mother um, Saturday he just laid down and he just I guess kind of gave up in a way and so Sunday they ended up having to take him and getting him put down because he was really really uh, sick he had a lot of things gone wrong with him even though you couldn't tell it um, all of his life he's had fatty tumors and they've you know they said you know eventually it's gonna but anyway he ended up they ended up having to take him to be put down and so my mother texted me and we went over there <clears throat> on Monday and Tuesday and um, because my mom actually my dad took it really hard so we went over there and I helped them out so yeah I didn't get a much a whole lot done over the weekend from Sunday on till yesterday so yeah, I didn't get a whole lot uh, to do. It was just, it was crazy. And of course, the little dude, he kind of got attached to checkers. And so I've been going back and forth between the two of them, trying to get, you know, settle everybody. And it was, it was emotional. So, um, but I did get to get a book done and started the other one I needed to review and um, so that's basically what's been going on this week <laughs> and this video is probably going to be short just because we spent most of the weekend dealing with that okay so um, Today's Wednesday, and I just, it, you know, I never realized how fast it this the rest of these two days went by. It was like right, everything was running together. Um, I was in a good mood, but you know, to having to take care of, you know, feelings of my little of little dude, and so forth. Yeah, it was not fun. So I didn't get to do a whole lot. He and I just kind of. Um, spent time together Monday and Tuesday playing video games and um, stuff like that and just I, I, anything that I could to keep his mind off of it or try to and um, so yeah that's our that was our weekend okay so what I did all right now Friday and Saturday Saturday I did not do any stitching because I don't even know remember why I didn't do any stitching 
I think, oh no, I know why, because I ended up with a migraine and I ended up sleeping it off. So yeah, um, I did finish book on Friday. So anyway, I, I did 160 stitches on Friday and so now and then the readathon I did finish a book I think what I'm going to end up doing is consolidating my stitching and re um, reading planner and all that and make it all one planner and keep it in my stitching planner I'm not trying to buy anymore especially now that finances are kind of tight and um, yeah, it's it's been it's been rough. Okay, so I finished a book called Zero Option. is a book I need to review and I will do that over the weekend okay so and I did finish Sherlock on Hulu and started I watched this weird oh my gosh I watched this weird um uh, started watching this weird documentary this morning and let me tell you it was weird um I forget what it's called I think it was called the cult massacre and um those of us that are old enough to remember this I was just a kid but Jim Jones and I was just like oh my god <laughs> I watched some of this and I was like okay so yeah it was it was interesting okay um, anyway, the book I listened to was, what's it called? Zero Option. Now, I gave this four stars. There was a reason. I couldn't understand the narrator as well as I usually can. Most of the audiobooks, I can understand him or understand the narrator. And it was, it was really, really, um, it's hard to understand the narrator, but um, this book comes out the 9th of July, and um, it happened back in 1943. That's when it takes place, and it was interesting, very much so. It, it did jump back and forth a little too much, but I understand why they did that, and um, so what basically it's about is Dick Kennedy races to stop an assassin from disrupt, disrupting a vital conference that will shape the course of World War II. Um, Churchill is supposed to be meeting with, and Roosevelt are supposed to be meeting with uh, Stalin. And so they, these guys rush to stop this assassination and it jumped back and forth um, a little too much, but it was good. It was really, really good. I was, it, it, it was interesting, even though it kind of, you know, went back and forth and I got confused a couple of times, but um, yeah, it's, it, it, it was really, really good. Things that I didn't know happened because both my grandparents or my grandfathers were in the World War. So it was kind of, you know, interesting to hear things that I didn't know. And um, so, yeah, I finished that. And then I started, it doesn't say what I started, but I did start another book. <laughs> I did start another book, I promise. Um, this one is, this one is due, the, due what comes out on the 1st of July. Um, it's called A Clean Kill, and it's by Stephen... 
Con Coley. Don't ask me. I don't understand. I can't. I can't pronounce it. Um, he's hunting a serial killer and basically the whole thing is, let me see, um, five dismembered bodies are found along the roadside, dumped in the middle of nowhere. This isn't new to Special Agent Garrett Mann, head of Artemis. A specialized FBI task force hell-bent on hunting down cartel-related killings in the Southwest. Man has seen this before. Basically, they're tracking a serial killer. And even though it's supposedly related to cartel killing. So, I'm interested to, to hear, you know, more. It's, so far, it's, um, it seems like it's going to be pretty good. And we'll see. So, I started that on Saturday also. But again, because of what happened this weekend, I didn't get to do, um, I didn't get to listen to a whole lot of books. Because I didn't want to be rude while I was at my parents and, excuse me, and just listen to a book while, you know, they're kind of grieving for, you know, a family pet that's been, gosh, I, you just have no idea how long, that, how long Checkers has been part of this family. I don't even remember when, um, good grief, I can't even remember. I remember when he was a puppy, and I can't remember how long ago that is, but he's been in our family for a while. So, um, and of course, I didn't even get to do floss tube. So, I will plan floss tube this week. Okay, so now, Monday and Tuesday again, I was with my parents and um no we didn't do a whole lot I didn't even take laundry over there to do like I always do we just kind of um just spent time with you know my parents and all that good stuff so all right and we'll do to help my dad in the yard and that's basically what we did and I think part and I think that helped my dad out a lot so um yeah he wasn't my dad yeah my dad didn't show up but you could tell so but anyway all right so so today TV YouTube I need to catch up on YouTube that was my plan this weekend also was to do YouTube and I didn't do that. Okay, so um today oh, I just lost my pen. What did I do with it? There it is. Today, um I'm hoping and I'm planning to go into Zoom, we will see um, how that ends up. I'm not sure yet. Um, we have a couple things that's going on. They are supposed to come today to, uh, maintenance is supposed to come today to do some work here and they let me know they were coming probably this afternoon. So I don't know if I'm going to get to come into Zoom. I want to. I've missed Zoom. I, I know I'll get to be in there the weekend, but yeah, we've got a lot. They're trying to fix a bunch of stuff that um, needs to be fixed that was put off by maintenance before and they got contractors coming in. So yeah, we're probably not, I probably won't have a minute piece at my house. <laughs> okay, now this weekend is cross stitch this weekend and I'm doing a lady sewing on 
Friday and Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'll show you the picture of that for those of you that are new. I'll try to write this down. So, bear with me guys, I'm trying to find the picture, and I have it somewhere, just trying to find it is going to be like trying to, where'd it go? Uh, wait a minute, I know where it's at, it's not in there. This is what it looks like. It's by Delphine. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. <coughs> but it's from heaven and earth. And that's what it's going to look like. I'm down here in this little corner. And this is going to go here in my living room at some point once I get it done. I really need to work on it. And um, I'm doing it on 25 count. So um, I'll work on that this weekend. And so, let's see. All right, so, till I get a new planner or, t or, yeah, so using the other one until we are done with this one because, um, um, I'm just going to let it go out until August. I might be able to get a plan. I don't know. We'll see. I've got options. Okay, so today, let's see. I'm not doing a whole lot today. Because um, I did most of everything yesterday when I got home. I cleaned. Um, and now I've just got to make sure that the cats stay in... Um, rooms when they come through so um, let's see I've swept I sweep Ugh. and then um, I clean let's see I did that yesterday so um, let's see um, mop the floor then That's about it, and then I'm gonna stitch. I hope. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna watch TV because. I haven't watched TV. I, I mean, it's been on, but I haven't really watched it. Okay, so now, um, trying to think what else is going on because uh, Justin's got to work today. It's four o'clock, so that's today. start the rest of this other book and then I need to so I'll probably do that
kind of messed up when everything you have planned out got pushed back because of yeah poor checkers but anyway he's in a better place and he's not feeling it anymore which is the good thing even though I'm gonna be honest we could never we actually I couldn't tell there was anything wrong I mean he was a little slow and he had a hard time because of the fatty tumor he had a hard time getting in and out of um, doors. We'd have to open the door all the way up. Um, like, especially on their back porch, they'd have to open, They ha we'd have to walk out, stand outside, and have the door held wide open because he couldn't, he couldn't walk out like a normal dog. And so, um, yeah, he's, He uh, he had his moments, and he just you know he'd lay there and um, yeah, and like I said, little dude got attached, so it's um, it was kind of rough, especially on him. So he uh. Yeah, so it was kind of sad. So we went over there so he could spend time with, you know, grandma, grandpa, and kind of keep grandpa's mind off of it. And that was really it. That's all we did. Okay, so now, uh, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do today. Um, it's going to be kind of quiet because little dude is out of school so we didn't really don't have you know anything to do after that um So, yeah, so I don't have anything else to share. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. And like I said, it was one of those emergency family things that we had to worry about. And um, so I'm going to cut it off here. I hope everybody, you know, has a good day, has a good week, rest of their week. Uh, there will be a video tomorrow morning, I promise. It was not intentional to miss. Sorry. <laughs> um but when your parents will text you and tell you, you know, the family dog is, you know, has been passed away, put down for, you know, we rushed over there. So, um, yeah, but there will be a video tomorrow morning. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, everybody.